tonight. All right, man. Thank you. You got the video. You're all set, Vince. Let's do it. Oh, you're Vince. Yes, I'm Vince. Were just in the, I was just in the car with you. Oh, how about that? <laughs> there you go. All right, so I think um, we're going as fast as that, but. <laughs> Hey, we're going as fast as you want. It's your experience. You get, right. you paid for it. All right. Or somebody did, at least. Yeah, well, um, I just got upgraded. I was supposed to be in the 458. Oh, perfect. All right. Yeah, it awesome. worked out. So, foot on these. the brake. Yep. This paddle back puts us into gear. I'm just going to move this settings over here so we can get that, so I can watch the whole. Sure. Not that you need to pay attention to that, but it helps me guide you through. Yeah. Um, I want you to keep your eyes up, looking ahead through the turns on those cones that we talked about on our yep. lead car ride. Um, so, um, I'm just going to go ahead and, and get you staged here. I already know you know the drill because I taught you. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll go up here and we'll stage and then uh, once that session uh, that's out there right now finishes, we'll, we'll head out on this track. And uh, we're going to get a nice gap between us and this uh, GT3. Okay. And as I mentioned, we do allow passing in the program. I'll uh, let you know where and when that's going to happen if we do have any passing. I'll put my Touch hand on that brakes. wheel just to keep you safe. Okay. Um, but otherwise, we're maintaining those gaps. Right? Got it. Unless I say different. Right. So our yellow cones, we're lifting off the throttle unless I say different as yep. well. Then we get to those brake cones, we're going to smoothly apply those brakes. Now, yep. we talked about the Ferrari in the um, lead car. We didn't talk about the Lamborghini. The difference on the Lamborghini is the brakes. The, well, first of all, the throttle is much more sensitive. It's, mm. it's you literally have all 610 horsepower at your. You press it, it down, you're going to feel time. it. Okay. When we get out on the track, I'll get you to get a feel for that throttle. So turn it up like you're turning your stereo. Got you don't it. need it all. Not mash on. Right. Gradual, don't treat it like on. an on and off switch. Got it. Um, so build on that throttle, and um, same thing with those brakes. They're super sensitive. We want to ease into them. Okay. We don't want to go to the floor. Yeah, I felt just that start just to, now. <laughs> yeah. Start to ease into them and then build in it more. There's a couple spots out there where you only need a little bit of braking, like a graze of the brake. Okay. Just to, just to slow it down, get it settled before we make the turn in. Okay. Um, then one, in that, those S's, we're gonna get to a certain point where with that throttle, and we're just gonna maintain that throttle. So we're gonna, I'm gonna tell you add throttle, add throttle, add throttle. We're gonna get to a certain point, you hold it, yep. and I'll, I'll just guide you through, and then we can add throttle. Got it. Just to keep that car locked down as okay. best as possible. Yeah. It's all wheel drive. So that's the biggest difference between the Ferrari 2 is that this has a tendency to push. So really critical to get the nose of the car all the way to those turn-in cones, those okay. orange turn-in cones, before we turn the car in. Which is so, hard to decipher where that is. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll get you all down to it. Okay. Yeah, I know. You can't uh, see anything out there. Now, I know I pulled it to get into first, but is it an auto mode It's now? in automatic that's mode. It'll is. shift and um, it, it shifts really rapidly. It'll bring it all the way up to 8500 RPMs. That's insane. <laughs> I love it. This is like, honest to God, one of my dream cars. Oh, really? It? Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, that's it, awesome. In terms of like perfect, like you could drive it anytime, anywhere kind of thing. Yeah, right? you could drive like, this in the snow if you right, had to. Right. All wheel drive. What the heck? It's, yeah. With the right tires. That's incredible. What do you daily drive? Uh, well, so I daily drive a Toyota Camry now, but okay. my, my play toy is a Lexus ISF. Oh, okay. Um, cool. And then I've got a 2002 Harley Edition F-150 um, that's got the supercharged 5.4 in yeah, it, yeah, and yeah. I've got a Hayabusa. Oh, but, wow. Yeah. But this is my first track experience ever, so first of all, being on the track at all, and then, yeah, yeah. And then being behind awesome. the wheel of this, it's just incredible. So Awesome. Well, I'm glad you came out. Nervous excited. <laughs> it's just awesome. like any other car. Um, just going to be nice and smooth on the uh, throttle and smooth yep. on those brakes. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't have a desire to like go crazy. <laughs> Not at all. I do want to enjoy it. Awesome. It's incredible how different like sitting in this car is when that just drove by. That thing looked enormous. Yeah, it looks really high, right? Yeah. It looked We're enormous. pretty low. Our center of gravity is really low in this car. Um, in fact, it has a little button to raise the front if you have to go over a speed bump, or not, a, you know, like a speed hump. When or they in announced your the new vet was going to have that, I figured that was one of those things that everybody. Yep. It's hard. It's impossible. That's actually one of the reasons I haven't lowered my car at all is because I can't. Yeah, like, I can't afford to not be able to drive it. Well, the roads too. I mean, it's That's like, terrible. Yeah, they're horrible. They're co constant construction, right? Yep. yep. So we're just about to roll out here, and like I said, well, as uh, Oh, okay, we're setting resetting one of the codes. Okay. Hold seven. Seven. 
Sorry about that. One of the cones got kicked over on our last session, so somebody was going out to set them. Reset it, okay. We're good right here. Sorry about that. I was listening to what was going on, so. <laughs> Try to keep everybody safe. That's obviously our number one goal. Absolutely. So you guys, are you, were you the ones from uh, Baltimore? Uh, no, so oh. we are from Maryland, but oh, okay. I'm actually from the Southern Maryland part. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Whereabouts? Um, you know where Calvin County is? Like Solomon's Island area? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm like A friend of mine just bought a house on Solomon's Island. Really? Or uh, like off of, uh, yeah, yeah. he's near Solomon's Island, yep. I know that. I'm 20 minutes north of it. Okay, yeah. all right, yeah. yeah. I haven't been to his house, he, he's a guy, I'm up, I'm up uh, above Philadelphia. Okay. So, um, you know, I, I used to sail on the Chesapeake, I know it pretty well. Yeah, yeah. So how, you guys traveled then all over Yeah, the places, last week right? I was in uh, Portland, the week before that in Seattle. I spent the week between, um, it was actually where the, the four day event, so a little bit more. But yeah, we uh, I traveled quite a bit. Which would you say out of all your travels? Put track, forward behind the Porsche, please. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go up. Yep. He wants to be able to get all these people staged in. Um, which track would you say is your most favorite? Um, like your personal favorite? It's funny because, the, you know, there's like, it depends on what, <laughs> My favorite track of all time, we don't go there, unfortunately, is Watkins Glen, New York, up yep. by the Finger Lakes. Okay. Um, second would be VIR in Virginia. Yep. Um, out of the tracks that we do, I loved um, Audubon's awesome. Oh, we're actually going to start rolling out. Okay. Um, and I really like Palm. Palm Beach is a really fast track. Yeah. Lots of fun. Yeah, I got to get my brother to come back. That's that's who's with me. I got to get him to come back and do the drive experience. Oh, right, yeah, about that. definitely. Yeah. All right, so keep those hands in that 9 and 3 position as we start to roll out. We're going to get that nice gap uh, between the uh, GT3 and us. Uh, we have two miles of track surface on only seven cars, so we got plenty of room out there to play. So you can start rolling out. All right. And so once we get on, it's just like merging on the highway, like I uh, said in the lead car. You're just getting into that slow lane, running down the end of this straightaway. Again, all those mirrors are set for me. I know it's habit, right? Yeah, no. So we're going all the way down to the uh, turn in on the left hand side down by that apex cone. Okay. When we get to that uh, turn in, we're going to go ahead and turn in. I want you to get a little bit of throttle coming out of that apex just to get a feel for it. And then I want you to go ahead and get, give me a little throttle all the way out to those yellow cones. Obviously, yeah. So I, my whole goal here is to get a feel for that throttle okay. and then go ahead and get to those brakes, get a feel for those, right? So see how it just ease into them just like that. That's yep. exactly what we need to do. Okay. So we're going all the way out to that orange cone, get that nose of that car to that orange cone. Perfect. Nice, smooth turn in. So we want to gradually turn it in, right? You can always apply more input to that wheel. You want to start to gradually put that wheel in, so not too abrupt initially. Got it. Right? So we want to transition nice. So go ahead and pick up the pace a little bit. We'll go out to our orange cone out to our orange cone and get behind this uh, apex cone here and get a little closer to him. And if you want to take a pass, we can take a pass quickly here. We're going to go all the way down to our orange cone and get to the apex cone on my side. And then a little bit of throttle coming out of this all the way through the apex on this side. And then center of the track, when we're going to come around, we're going to rotate around, no brakes all through here. We're going to get to this tight, tight to this one here. And we're going to go ahead and pass him on the left-hand side out here. Go ahead and just pass him nice and smoothly. Give me some brakes there, and off the brakes and turn it in. Get it turned in tight, out to that orange cone. And add some throttle for me. Start to build on that throttle through these S's like we talked about, all right? Keep rolling, more throttle, more throttle. And your, your side apex, my side apex. Keep adding throttle, over to your side. Keep adding throttle, keep adding it. And as much as you want to the yellow cones. over to my side lifting and squeeze those brakes so easy on those brakes initially and then harder as you get to the corner lift off turn in over the apex a little bit of throttle we're coming down the right side of the track a little bit of lift and squeeze those brakes and lift off and turn in through the apex look ahead little little blip of the throttle out to that red cone and then we're going through that chicane so squeeze those brakes don't want any of these cones nice and smooth through here and then give it all that throttle you want all the way down to the yellow cones. That's where the magic is. Eyes up, look at the head. And lift and squeeze those brakes. Keep that maintain that pressure all the way down to that orange cone. Melt off those brakes and off of all and turn it in. Now throttle up out to those yellow cones. Throttle, throttle, throttle. And lift and squeeze those brakes. 
brakes for me. Get it all the way down to the orange cone. Now, nice transition turn in. There you go. Now, give it a little bit more throttle through here just to keep that momentum going. All the way out to our orange cone. And then we're going to get turned in nice and tight to my apex on my side. And a little bit of throttle coming out here to our orange cones. This is perfect right here. You can keep that momentum, no brakes. Apex on my side, then over to your side. I will graze the brakes now before we enter this. There you go, lift off and turn it in. Get it tight to this apex on my side. Now roll on that throttle. All the way out to our red cones. And lift and squeeze those brakes. Get all the way down to the orange cones. Lift off, turn in through the apex. Let it track out to that orange cone and start adding that throttle now. Turning in nice smoothly, let it track out. And add throttle, add throttle. Keep, up, keep going. That's perfect right there. Keep on that throttle. Just like that though. There you go. Nice job. My side. Now add all the throttle you want to that yellow coat. And lift and squeeze those brakes. Harder on those brakes. Get it all the way down the orange. Lift off and turn it in through the apex. Up and over the crest, through the uh, apex on my side. We're lifting at those yellows, squeezing those brakes. Get it all the way down to that orange cone, lift off and turn it in. All the way out to our orange, our red cone, little blip of the brakes through this. There you go. And we'll do this one more time and go. Awesome. 